Hi guys, Robert Rivera here with the uh, weekly recap. This is weekly recap number 36, I believe. And I am sorry that uh, I am not on screen. It's kind of dark where I'm at and uh, you can hear the, the, uh, the house um, clock letting you know the time of the night. But anyway, um, I, I'm, since I, I, I'm not gonna move from here, <laughs> I decided to go ahead and do this weekly recap um, from uh, the obscurity of my living room. And so you won't see lights and all this other stuff. And so I decided, let me just take, keep my face out of it and just simply give you the information. We're gonna go over the setups from this week. I only sent three setups starting with this one on Monday um, for a couple of reasons. First of all, there were, uh, I was traveling last night and also there were many news. So I just simply watched the market and played the market accordingly, but I didn't want to send a setup. And then the night before Jay had sent out a morning setup that was still active. And so I decided to leave that alone because it was still good. And in fact, I, I played it off of his chart. So, um, so yeah, so there are only three setups this week from me, and this is the one from Monday. And again, price has been going up and down, up and down, testing the highs, testing the highs. And we have it trapped here right now, seeing if it will break to the top or break to the bottom. Let's see what happened. So this was in fact what happened and nice consolidation. This is, I just, this is the kind of setup I just love, right? I mean, just consolidation, just beautiful consolidation here in the middle. This is, these are all one hour candles. Then the fake, like it's gonna break to the top, doesn't fake, doesn't break the top and fake. In fact, it breaks to the bottom. And I don't count the pips from up here. I only count the pips from down here for a 30 pip um, uh, breakout with no retest. And I say no retest because again, I think I discussed this in the class from Monday that um, I could have made these a little tighter. Like I could have made, if, if I had made this bottom zone to the wick of these previous candles, then we could have seen that that was the retest right there. We could have picked up on that retest right there. So it, in essence, it did, it retested, but not from the setup that I sent. So fine, no, no, um, no retest on the setup, 30 pips. Okay, let's go to the next one. Following day, this is uh, again, pushing back up, price comes down, pushes back up. Now it's pushed all the way back up and it's pressing against the top. Again, uh, we have the trend line here, just in case it breaks it to take it to the downside and let's see what happened. Um, it broke the trend line early in the evening, but then it just consolidated and then it just started moving back up. Um, I guess it could be noteworthy of the fact that it's now on the other side of the trend line though. You know, it's not, it didn't keep on going up and up straight up. It's on the other side of the trend line. So it's, it is kind of losing a little bit of steam. Uh, let's see what happens. This was uh, 35 pips uh, with break and retest. It's a little flat now, but again, nice break, nice retest. Uh, that was should have been an easy win for everybody. And then this is the infamous, oh, I'm thinking it's going to be a sell. So I'm going to hang in here for sales. I'm not looking for buys, kind of silliness that Robert did this week. And so he missed out on the buy that eventually happened. This is the buy that happened. It broke to the top, retested and went on. It only gave you a six pip drawdown. Uh, pretty good, not too shabby, okay? So on these three setups, only three setups that I sent out, we got 115 pips total. That's 38 pips per trade, two retested. One was a no retest, even though it, didn't, it really did retest. And it only gave us six pip of drawdown. So again, we're, we're killing it, right? As far as the drawdown versus the actual pips that we get per trade, pretty, pretty good. Okay, let's go into the charts to wrap this up real quick. Um, I find it interesting that GBP CAD GBP CAD is testing that top side over there. Like I mentioned it in the last week, right? It's not, I don't know. It, it could be that this week because of news, it finally breaks through. I mean, GBP is very strong, has to continue to be strong. And so I'm expecting that it could be a breakthrough through here. It doesn't want to come down anymore. This should have been an indication of a sell and it didn't sell. That, that evening star right there should have been an indication for a sell. It did not sell. Instead, it's still pushing up. All right, so pushing up, uh, that could break through this week, I think, to the top. Uh, GBP NCD uh, finally climbed into the, the channel, guys. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this. It finally climbed the channel. 
it's 300 pips from here to the next zone. All right, so something to look forward to. Now, perhaps you wanna wait for a retest of the channel bottom or this zone down here and then catch it as it's coming back up. Just realize that it could come back down and retest first before it goes all the way up there. But once it keeps, it starts moving in the upward direction, that's about 300 pips to the top. Um, let's see gold, let's take a look at gold real quick. Um, this is what I see for gold. Basically, I haven't touched these. I haven't changed these in weeks. I'm just watching what price is doing and it keeps rejecting that zone. It keeps rejecting it. Okay, now this is, this is a wedge that's getting tighter and tighter and tighter. It's been respecting this trend line here since July of last year, it hasn't broken it, okay? And, and now, it's in, now it's respecting also this zone right here. So this, is, this whole thing is gonna come to a head here in just a moment to break to the top or break to the bottom. Uh, gold is interesting, in fact, gold is very interesting. And then GBP USD, which is my baby, it broke every expectation, right? It keeps going up and up and up. Now it has downward movements, but it keeps going up and up and up. It's broken through all of this resistance that was here before. And now, as I mentioned last week in my recap, if it breaks through, it'll fill this candle. Okay, this is the candle that I mentioned last in the last weekly recap, that if it breaks through, it's gonna fill this candle. Well, that's 235 pips. I think it's almost 300 pips at the top of this zone right here. I think we're off to the races on GBP USD, guys. We are off to the races. It may come down and retest. Hold on a second. Let me do this like this so you can see it. Let's see. It could come down and retest this down here. Because if you go back, again, it broke out, right? You see how it couldn't break, couldn't break, couldn't break? Now it broke out. And look how, look how it coincides with this zone over here. Okay, that right there coincides with that, all right? So it may come down to retest here before it goes up. It could just keep going, but it could come down to retest. If it does come down to retest, we may be looking at sales to begin the week uh, that amount to about 90 pips. And then after that, it could start moving to the upside uh, for, well, if it bounces from the bottom, it'll be over 200 pips to the upside. Otherwise, 170 some pips. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Again, this is Robert Rivera with the Trend Training Academy, and I hope that you are getting value from everything you're seeing here and uh, get some uh, back testing done this weekend because we are coming strong uh, starting Monday, okay? And I have a class on Monday that's going to be fire. You don't want to miss it. I hope that, again, you are receiving value from the time I take to do these. Appreciate and love you all. God bless you.